Aloha, my internet family. How are you? Welcome back to Practical Printing. I hope you're all having a great weekend so far, and I hope you're all ready to enjoy a fun, quick little practical project with me. So you ready? Let's do it. So let's get started on this. A while back, my wife had asked me to design and make her something for the side of the fridge that would hold little notepads and a pen and a pair of scissors and just stick to the side of the fridge with magnets. We used to have something similar. Unfortunately, the dogs got a little bit hyper in that corner, kind of knocked it off the fridge, and the, the plastic shattered as it hit the ground. So I put together this guy really quick in Fusion 360, and Let's jump over there and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, rather than recreating this thing from scratch, I'm going to walk you through how I designed it. And the dimensions themselves aren't that important. You can design it to fit what you need. But I started off designing just a simple box uh, for the outside for a front pocket for this thing. And then I went ahead and extruded that up like so. Then I added a second box and behind it and also extruded that up as well. And you can see the height there as I rotate it just a little bit to show you. Then I added another sketch down at the bottom and basically extruded that to enclose the bottom and you can see that down here. So that we actually have our container at this point. Okay, then I went on this other side over here, and let's see if we can rotate that so I can show it. So I basically added another sketch on that same plane here, which was just two circles, and it was slightly overlapping just a hair. And then I extruded that up to create the bottom. Then I added a secondary extrusion on the outside for the full length and this is how we created a pen holder. We'll take a look at the other side here. You can see I this is a little bit trickier. So I ended up adding a sketch on the side plane here and if you can see the two the V's as they're lined up they were just equally spaced diagonal lines off the center there. And this is going to build our scissor holder. And then I extruded those out like so. Added another sketch to cap that off like that and then just extruded it out. And if we go around to the back You can see that we created a, a little bit of thickness there. And then I created four pockets on the back with just four circles evenly spaced in the corners. These were going to be um, a 10 millimeter radius circle. And I created an extrusion with those. If you can see the depth here. And those are going to be our holes for the magnets. At that point, it was just simply a matter of cleaning it up by adding some fillets and chamfers to round it off and make it look a little bit prettier. And it ends up looking like so. Okay, you can go ahead at this point and you can do a make. You're going to 3D print. Uncheck Send to 3D Print Utility. I'm going to select your entire body there. In this case, we actually ended up with two bodies because of the way that was there. Or you can just select bodies over here to get everything. Hit OK. Tell it where you want to save it. In this case, we'll put it on the desktop. 
and boom, we have our STL and you can send it to the printer. So let's go ahead and look and see how these came out, the final results. Okay, so let's take a look at these. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a time lapse for you this time. I had a little bit of a problem um, with the SD card that I had copied those two off of the Raspberry Pis in both printers. I did two versions of this. Um, I thought my daughter would like one too, and I thought I'd show it to you unfinished. The first one here done in red was done in Matter Hacker's build series PETG. I wanted something a little bit more sturdy than PLA and a little bit more UV sensitive because there's going to be UV light coming through the windows and it's just going to be in the environment of the kitchen. Um, this was printed on the Robo R2. And then the one for my wife I printed out here was done in Atomic PETG. And this one you can see I glued the magnets into here. I haven't done that yet on the one I did for my daughter and need to run to Home Depot and grab some more magnets to finish that up. But as you can see, it fits the scissors nice and snug. The pins drop in. The scissors are a little bit tight and that was intentional because I didn't want them to get knocked out. And then we have the two pockets here, the front one and the back one, so that you can drop in your punch cards or your um, little notepads or whatever. And there's a little bit of room for both of those to separate them. All right, so that's it. I will post the STL file for this up on Thingiverse if anybody would like to give it a go. It's a fun little print. Um, if you'd like to design your own, you can see as I walk through the Fusion 360, it's a very simple design. It's something that you can customize to your needs and print out really quickly. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you like what we're doing here on Practical Printing, and we'll see you next time. Aloha.